Hey folks, welcome back. I have your latest luxury market report for week ending May 19th. Today, I'm wearing my casual gear. Okay, welcome back. Before I get into the actual numbers, there's something I want to talk to you about. As sellers, you really need to be careful about your listing and the details and as a as as a as an agent as a listing agent for all you realtors out there you really need to be careful i'm a full-time realtor i work with buyers and sellers every single day and it's so important that we get the the fine details correct because it could it it, it could hurt the sale so for example here's a property listed at 3990 so let's just say for sake of argument, 4 million bucks. There's some errors on the listing. This property says one bedroom. Well, it's a four bedroom home. It says indoor pool on the listing. Well, it's an outdoor pool. And the listing says the basement is not finished when in fact the basement is finished. Now, the minute you look at this house, you know it's not a one bedroom house. However, the problem is, is that some of you might not actually get a chance to see the house. Why? Well, we often, whether you're a realtor, you set up search criteria, or if you're just the general public, you're setting up search criteria because you only want to be updated with listings that, per, that kind of fit in with what you like. So if you don't want to see any three bedrooms in the search criteria you put, I only want to see a minimum of a four bedroom home. Well, you're not going to see this listing. It won't pop up in your inbox because they've put one bedroom on the listing. This won't make the cut of your criteria. If you say, I want an outdoor pool, well, this won't make it. And if in your search criteria you put, I, if I'm going to spend four million bucks, there better be a finished basement. That's the box you tick off in your search criteria. This home won't appear. And the seller's wondering, why aren't that many people coming to see my house? Well, it's not populating the inbox. And a lot of realtors are, are guilty of also just setting up search criteria and then they don't forward this property to their clients because it just doesn't come up. There's even an argument for listing it at a price like this, 39990. Well, in your search criteria, you might put I only want to see properties because of my budget between 4 million and 5 million. Well, this property won't come up if that's your budget. Anyways, I want to share that with you. You as the seller, you should be looking at the fine details. Those of you that are watching that are agents, um, as I an agent and sometimes our assistants get involved in creating the, the, the actual listing. But at the end of the day, it lies on us to check the fine details before we go live on the MLS to make sure the details are correct. Okay, let's get right into the numbers. So for a property to appear here, for data to appear, the cutoff is $3 million. So anything $3 million or above, sold or listed, appear on my data here, on my charts. And I'm looking at the city of Toronto and York region. So city of Toronto and above it, York region. Those are the two areas I'm combining here for the data of the luxury market. So for week ending 19, we sold fewer homes than the previous four or five weeks. Only 30 luxury properties were sold for week ending May 19th. Average sold price went up to 4167000 I, I don't put too much stock or too much value in average sold price when it comes to the luxury market just because if we put a cutoff of $3 million, there's always going to be a larger volume of products in that, or products, a larger number of properties in the 3 to 4 3 to $5 million range, keeping average sold price around there. And, and it goes up and down based on how many of the real, real higher ticket properties got sold, the eight, nine, and $10 million properties. So it doesn't really affect the average sold price just over the $3 million mark. Here we are compared to last year. I've got the chart, I put it up, but it, you know, come last year, this time, it was a whole different world when we're sitting, you know, at, at our first lockdown. 
Uh, and, and look, last year, well, this year we sold 30. Last year, <clears throat> excuse me, only six properties were sold. So it's really tough to compare. But of the 30 this year, 40% sold at list price or more. Now, when we get into the other markets, we're sitting at 60%. When I say the other markets, I mean the, the non-luxury markets, say detached around 1 million, 1.5 million, anything even around 2 million. We're sitting at 60, 70% selling at list price or more. In this price range, we're getting 40% sitting at list price or more. So sometimes you're, there's lots more opportunity to negotiate prices, take your time making a decision. Sometimes not so much. Let me, let me show you some of the properties that were sold. Here's a condo in the Yorkville area. Oh, I made a mistake. I put 21 bedrooms. It's actually two plus one bedrooms. I forgot the plus sign there. Three baths, one parking, over 1,800 square feet. Listed for 3595, sold in two weeks for 3640, so sold over asking. So negotiation went up on this property here. Here's one in the Bayview and York Mills area. Nice looking home, 90 by 125 foot lot, four plus two beds, five baths, three car tandem garage. What I mean by tandem for, just in case you're wondering, well, you see two spots, there are two garage spots, so two cars go in, but one of those spots is extra long for two cars to fit one in front of the other. So that's what's a three car garage tandem, but there's only two spots to come in. Also has an elevator, this home listed for four nine 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 nine, sold in 75 days for 4.849. So this was on the market for a while. Lots of room to negotiate. Not everything is selling right away super fast. Last week, on my last week report, I had this property as listed. It's now sold. King City property, over two acres, five beds, seven baths. It has an 11 car garage. The home has an elevator listed for 7298. Sold in eight days for exactly what they asked for, 7298. Nice home, nice lot, over two acres in King City. Looking at listings, so listings came down a little bit. We listed 84 luxury properties. Now, last year at this time, zero. There were no lux luxury properties listed last year during the same week period. So you see how hard it is to compare to, to last year at this time. And looking at months of inventory, climbed up, has to do with the low sales, higher listings, we're sitting now at 4.8 months of inventory. Now the way months of inventory works, anything below four months of inventory is considered a seller's market. And in a seller's market, prices tend to go up. Anything between four to six months of inventory is a balanced market. Prices kind of tend to be steady, balanced of supply and demand, kind of what, you know, balanced market kind of tells you just by the word. And more than six months of inventory is a buyer's market and prices tend to be coming down in a buyer's market. So we're sitting in a balanced market. There's room to negotiate. There's, there's oftentimes room to see a property. There's time to kind of take a look. Let me show you some of the more interesting listings that came on the market during the week. Here we have a condo in the Yorkville area, two beds, three baths, two parking, over 1,800 square feet listed for 4 million, 380,000 uses on Yorkville. Bridal path area, four plus one beds, eight baths. Look at this, there's a six car garage, there's a pool, 80 by 160 lot, listed for just under 15 million in the bridal path area. If you got a car collection, this is a huge, beautiful, beautiful parking lot, six car garage. Here we have Vaughn. Now, there's an area in Vaughn called Old Maple. It's part of Maple, but beautiful area, bigger lots. There's, uh, the, the area has been in transition for years where they're taking these, these, these older bungalows, tearing them down, and building these massive, massive luxury homes. Well, this property here in Old Maple, five plus two bedrooms, eight bathrooms, 102 by 150 ravine lot, nice lot 
over 700, over 7,500 square feet living space. So that includes the basement listed for just under $4 million. And we're going way north here. Check this property out. Oftentimes you have your luxury property, you're thinking cottage. Listen to this. This is right on the lake. It's, it's a north of, north, it's a Georgina north uh, in the Jackson Point area. Nine plus three beds, 13 baths. This is a two family home. You could easily divide two separate living areas. It's 100 feet by 330 feet right on Lake Simcoe. So there's a hundred foot of shoreline right on Lake Simcoe. It's only 50 minutes to Toronto. People think Georgina is like way out there. You're just minutes from the 404 South right into downtown Toronto. Listed for 6,588,000. Beautiful, beautiful property. I have an overhead view here. Here are the few homes in the area. In this particular property, we're talking about this one. So you've got your home, you've got your pool, you've got your dock on Lake Simcoe where you could park your boat so you could have your home, your cottage, everything at once, and just really overall minutes to Toronto. That's the report. My name is Santo Sessa. I'm a full-time realtor with Remax Premier. So is everybody on my team. If you have any questions or have, have anything you want to discuss, either leave it on the comments below or give me a call. I'm happy to discuss any of your luxury market needs. Have a great day.